this really is no different. So, and I think, you know, having built a lot of AI systems out there for the last 10 years, GPUs are typically going to be overkill for most enterprises and business workloads. So most enterprises are going to be deploying small language models or tactical deployments around AI, and they're not going to be deploying these big, large language models, which we're used to dealing with. And, you know, talking about, you know, these models that take, you know, 60 days to train and 120 million bucks to, of resources to make it happen, like the big... Uh, you know, LLM providers have, we're just not going to do that within the enterprises. And that's probably a good thing. So the majority of standards apps, standard apps, databases, web services, software as a service, you know, business logic don't require advanced parallel computing. That's the bottom line. And I think that many people who are picking GPUs as something that's going to be part of the stack, they're, they're just overspending, they're over provisioning by a huge margin, by the way, you know, some of these things, they're spending uh, three times, sometimes four times as much money as they actually need to spend to deal with the same sort of AI workload. They're using, G, you know, using many GPUs, which just a few will do, or in many cases, and I'm finding this to be a, a common issue, they're using GPUs when CPUs would work just fine. And so in other words, they're overspending for the particular use case or workload. And I think they're seeing the hype out there, people telling them, going to the conferences, talk about you know, NVIDIA partnerships and leveraging the NVIDIA processing and taking your AI to the next level and high performance and things like that, where they're not thinking critically about which pieces of hardware that they need to leverage either, either in their on-prem systems or the ones, ones that they're leveraging out of the cloud. So this makes the cost per unit of useful work uh, as not improving. So GPU hardware is getting more expensive at a faster rate because of the demand uh, that have been there around GPUs. Uh, and and really not necessarily around the real performance requirements of those GPUs. And so there's been a demand to buy GPUs, which quite frankly is artificial because it's not related to any kind of an application requirement that people have. It's just related to the hype that they're reading and the fact that they believe they need many GPUs to provide future capacity to run their AI systems. Their AI system is obviously going to be very important to the enterprise. And so that's why they're over provisioning and over buying this stuff.